some natural, <laughs> some man-made. Go to Grant Park, Buckingham Fountain, Landfill. Neighborhood to our right called Streetville, Landfill. As we clear the roadway, an explosion of buildings and architecture before and around us. But here to our left, a brand new landmark now graces the downtown skyline. That is now officially Chicago's brand new third tallest building and tallest building in the world designed by a female-owned architectural firm, Studio Gang Architects. The architect's name is Jeannie Gang. She's headquartered here in Chicago. Initially called Vista Tower, now the residence at St. Regis. Bottom 12 floors are going to have a 200-room hotel that should open sometime early next year. They're above about 400 condos. As you can see, I'm like five six different shades of green glass transitioning up and down the building. That space at the top that has no glass up there that is called a blow-through floor. They would not add glass to that space. It will stay open as you see to allow the air and wind to go to the building that help to the structure's stability. No, the residents cannot access that space. I mentioned earlier that building at 150 North Riverside has 12 tanks of water on top that hold roughly 160,000 gallons. The building here to our left has tanks that hold 400,000 gallons. They had their highest closing sale so far to date early this year, 74th floor, 5,600 square feet, sold for $8.93 million. It is very hard to imagine, especially if you've never been here before, but I remember it clearly back in 2000, here to our left, was a nine-hole, 28-acre par three public golf course. 60 years ago, railroad land. 160 years ago, for the most part, there was no land. Here was a harbor. That's a brand new neighborhood, Lakeshore East. If you have time, explore it. The crystal line building, building into our left are the horizontals called the coast, and it's rental. In the background of the gap here to our left are the blue glass, the current home of Blue Cross Blue Shield, Illinois. If you're taking this tour 15 years ago, see the columns and gap a bit more than halfway up. That is how tall the building was. 33 floors, 1996. It was designed that they wanted to expand, take off the roof at 24 more floors. And they did, and it's seamless. 2009 to 11 for the expansion. Triangular shape building a Swiss hotel, 1988. Triangular shape has to maximize river views from the hotel rooms. Personally, I love the gap here to our left. With the colors, shapes, and textures of all three buildings slammed together. Background to our left with that undulating floor plate that is called Aqua. Also by Studio Gang Architects. Bottom 20 floors, Radisson Blue Hotel. Next 30 floors, rental apartments. Last 30 floors, condos. The ways are balconies. And finally, here to our 